Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting in tech world that is called Sophomore Stream, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, evaluate this integral from zero to one, then we have x to the power of x dx. This integral is something called the sophomore stream. And for this integrand, x to the power of x, this is not an elementary function. So if you keep increasing the value of the x, then the value of this whole expression, x to the power of x, is increasing incredibly fast. So that's why we're expecting not to have any nice close form for the answer. But if you're using Taylor series of this one form, then at least we'll have one convenient form as the answer for this integral. So first, I'll be rewriting this integral of 0 to 1 x to the power of x dx as an integral from 0 to 1 e to the power of x times ln x and dx so that we can work on Taylor series of this e to the power of x times ln x. So work in this Taylor series of e to the power of x times ln x, right? So it is going to be done the same as now. Summation, then your n is from 0 to infinity. Okay. Then we should have 1 over n, now factorial. That times integral from 0 to 1. And your integrand has to be x to the power of now n. That times ln x to the power of n, of course, and we have now then dx. Okay, now we can talk about this integral. Integral now from 0 to 1, x to the power of n times now ln x to the power of n, and now dx. Okay, so this can be solved by using integrals by parts, or we can use simple substitution. I think this is working better. So the substitution that I'll be working on has to be calling this x as now um, e to the power of negative u. Then your u has to be equal to negative ln x. So that is why your dx, dx has to be equal to negative e to the power of negative u. And then we have du. So that's why what we can say is when your x is going to 0. Okay, then your u is going to infinity. Then at the same time, when your x is now going to 1, then your u is going to now 0. Okay. Okay, then using this, let's rewrite the integral, right? So the integral has to be from now 0 to infinity. Okay, then using this, we should have now then e to the power of Okay, then negative n times now u. That times now negative u to the power of n. That times, now we have e to the power of then negative u. Okay, then we have du after. So that's why if you pull this negative 1 to the power of now n out, we can make negative 1 to the power of n times integral from 0 to infinity and then we have now u to the power of n. Okay, that times now e to the power of negative parenthesis, then it should have now n plus 1 times now u. And then we have du. Okay, let's make another conversion, right? Let me call this v. Let me call this v as okay, um, n plus 1 now times u. So calling this v as n plus 1 times u, then we can specify how your du. Okay. okay, then du has to be just equal to dv now over n now plus 1. Okay, so that's why your u has to be then equal to the v over now n plus 1. So that's why using this, we can also rewrite this expression as negative 1 to the power of n still. That times 1 over n plus 1. Now to the power of the n plus 1. Okay, that times integral from 0 to infinity still. And then your integral has to be now then v to the power of just the n. That times now e to the power of the negative v. And then we have now then dv. 
And for this now, this integral is the same thing as now then this n factorial. So that's why your expression is now going to be negative 1 to the power of n. That times n factorial divided by n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Okay. Okay, then let's talk about this now integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of x, ds that we were looking for, right? Then this integral... Integral uh, from 0 to 1, x to the power of x, dx, that we are looking for. This has to be now then equal to summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Then it should have 1 over n factorial. Now times negative 1 to the power of n. That times now n factorial divided by n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Okay, so that is why now the final form as the answer for this question is, now we can represent this integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of x dx, as nicely as summation from now n is from 0 to infinity. And you have negative 1, now to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1, after canceling the cell. So the final form of the answer for this question is this now summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Okay, so we worked on this interesting integral called the sophomore stream, so I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.